apart from uh, college trading, but as I do, I love to read books on uh, economics and history. In this video, I'm going to um, talk about uh, Lord Keynes, John Maynard Keynes. Keynes is a towering figure of the 20th century. He is considered to be the most important economic thinker of the 20th century and his ideas are still being followed by governments all over the world. Let's start. Uh, uh, I just uh, wanted to speak about uh, one of his books that he had written in 1919. The book was The Economic Consequences of the Peace. In 1914, all of a sudden, a world war broke out. Germany and austro hungarian Empire, they were on one side or other side were uh, Great Britain, France, Russia, and Italy. Nobody could, could have imagined that uh, such a ghastly and brutal war break out all of a sudden. The war lasted for four years and it ended in 1918, killing millions of people on both sides. Germany ultimately surrendered after four years. There was a revolution in Russia and the Bolsheviks took hold of the Russian government. More on that in some future. This is what in the background of this book, in 1919, Paris Peace Conference was initiated to discuss the terms of peace and for the defeated nation of Germany and Austria. After that, the defeat, the austro hungarian Empire disintegrated. This Paris Peace Conference is also known as the Versailles Conference and resulted in the Treaty of Versailles. In the Treaty of Versailles, the victorious countries of Great Britain, France, and the United States imposed heavy reparations on Germany. First, they put all the blame of the World War on Germany, and then they said that Germany should. Uh, pay reparations for the cost that it incurred on other countries. Now, Keynes was a young man, he was a Cambridge graduate, attended this meeting as a delegate of the British Treasury. So, it is remarkable that in 1990 he wrote a book the economic consequences of the peace in which he very openly criticized the governments of the United Kingdom, France, and United States. And uh, he predicted that uh, this treaty is totally unfair it will only result in the economic ruin of Germany and the economic ruin. Extremism, extremism will rise in Germany. Happy reparations will cause high inflation in the German economy. Germany will not be able to pay these heavy reparations. And uh, forcing Germany to pay heavy reparations will cause very high inflation and high unemployment. 
So it's remarkable that in 1990, we wrote such a book, and exactly this, this happened in the next 10, 15 years, but we had predicted it. As uh, pressure was put on Germany to uh, pay for the reparations, they started printing money, marks, German currency. And the more money they printed, printed more it made inflation. Ultimately, it was a case of hyper inflation when even you have to, if you want to buy bread, you had to take a sack full of marks. And after every hour, after every half an hour, the price of things would double. Unemployment rose to very high levels, and this is the background which propelled Hitler and his Nazi party in power. So remarkable, um, whatever he predicted in 1919 happened in the next 10, 15 years, and uh, really remarkable for the foresight of this person. In the, after the Second World War, Americans then they treated the defeated country in a fair manner, started the Marshall Plan, just as he had suggested in his book, the economic consequences of the peace after the First World War. So, Lord Keynes is a remarkable personality of the 20th century. He died in 1946. Before his death, he was instrumental in creating a new system called the Bretton Woods system, which exchanges that ruled the world for the next few decades. I'll do a future video in which I'll explain the Bretton Woods system and how the currency trader. We should know about that system. John Maynard Keynes' main book is that the uh, theory of employment in trust. In, in that he wrote in 1933, in which he discussed how governments can uh, mitigate depressions. As you, if you are a student of history, you must have known that the United Britain and the U.S. stock market crashed and after that the Great Depression started in the U.S. And, and it became a global depression. Output reduced one-fourth millions of people were unemployed and uh, and, and the economists of those days had no clue what to do. They were just uh, trained on this lesser fair theory that governments should do nothing and the markets go to find their equilibrium again, but going to settle the companies, those companies who had taken too much that will uh, go bankrupt. And in a few years, the new equilibrium will be found. But Keynes argued that uh, this is wrong, government should intervene in the, there's a lot of spending in the economy, the government should start spending is the only way to boost the aggregate demand in the economy and take the country out of depression. So the 1930s were a period when it looked like the capitalist system had collapsed. But Keynes came forward with his ideas and he said that it's the job of the government to control inflation as well as unemployment. Before that, employment, unemployment was not on the agenda of the economists. It was the economy itself to manage employment. I hope you like my video.